All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Brad Warren. This is Bearded Brad. We are getting a little bit of a late start today, but uh, we're about to head on out, do a little bit of fishing. We're gonna hit a couple of the passes and see if they're holding some fish. So we got Hurricane Idalia, I think is how you pronounce it maybe. And uh, it's coming up into the Gulf and is gonna hit a little further south east of here. Uh, it's not gonna directly affect our area. However, when we do get hurricanes coming up into the Gulf, a lot of times the fish will get fired up. Uh, prayers for all those that are in the track of the hurricane, praying everything's gonna go well. Hopefully everybody has done their preparations and has evacuated if you are in line of that hurricane. But we're about to get ready, head on over to the pass, see if these fish are fired up. Getting a late start today because I have started to do 75 hard, which I've talked about some on the channel. We've talked about it in the podcast. 75 hard is very hard. And so I got to do two 45 minute workouts a day. And so I did my workout this morning, ready to go fishing now. If any of y'all have considered doing 75 hard or need to do some sort of change in your life to better yourself, better your health, which I highly recommend because I was eating like crap drinking way too much beer and uh, so kind of needed a reset so 75 hard has been huge for helping with that and something else that has been massive for helping with the diet because I was terrible at eating like fast food junk food snacks all kinds of stuff I actually found factor a meal prep plan and so they'll deliver the meals ready to go straight to your house fresh never frozen meals and it's pretty awesome so you can pick a lot of different options I picked the keto one um, I'm kind of doing like I was gonna try the carnivore diet, that's very tough. I was doing like a modified carnivore, so still eating some fruits and vegetables, a few carbs here and there. Um, so I picked the keto one, they got a low calorie one, they got a high protein one, they got a vegan one. Anything you need that's gonna help you fit your diet, they have that to help you reach your goals. One of the most important things for us when picking this meal prep plan was we are so dang busy. We got four kids, my wife homeschools, I'm always fishing, trying to make videos, I'm editing, we're doing the podcast, we have the tackle store, we have so much going on. Trying to go to the grocery store, trying to prep all our meals and trying to eat healthy is extremely difficult. Basically taking all of those factors out and made eating healthy simple. That's what I love about it. And so these meals only take two minutes to warm up, so that's what we're gonna be eating for lunch today. So if you are interested in signing up for one of these, you can head over to factor75.com or click the link down below in the description. Use code beardedbrad50 to save 50% off your first box and I promise you will not regret it. All right, about to eat our lunch before we head on in, pick up some live shrimp. We got the uh, Parmesan chicken here, some fresh broccoli. Absolutely delicious. And these meals are fresh, never frozen. If you do want to pick you up a box, again, factor75.com or click the link down below in the description. Use code beardedbrad50, saves you 50% off your first box. I promise you, you won't regret it. So good, so easy. Two minutes. We're gonna go grab some live shrimp, head over to the pass, try to catch something for dinner. Catch y'all when we get there. All right, y'all, we got some live shrimp here. We're gonna drop it down off the seawall right next to this bridge over here. We got quite a few fish hanging out off this wall. Ooh. It is not very deep right here. There's a ton of fish. I put on a half ounce weight because there is a lot of current on that side, but we're kind of blocked from it right here at this wall. So we will see what happens here. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Nice little mangrove snapper. Not quite a keeper. All right. First fish of the day is a little mangroves. There's a bunch of them down there. It looks like there are some keepers though, so we may have to weed through these smaller guys trying to get to the bigger ones see if we can find us a couple keepers out here they are fighting over it down there oh just had one pulled the hook on them oh that's a real big one down there there's a couple real nice ones and a whole bunch of like barely not legals we are in alabama so these mangroves do have to be 12 inches Y'all know a lot of times in shore like this, it can be difficult to get a 12 inch snapper. There's some down there though. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, nice. Nice redfish. That is a cool catch. All right, y'all check it out. Nice little rat red. Definitely way too small. Pretty little fish though. A couple little spots right there on his tail. Super blue tail. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. First redfish in a while. All right, we are looking for dinner though. 
Right now we're off to a bad start. Keeper redfish would be sweet. There's one big snapper looking at him. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Whew. We're getting bigger. That is bigger than the first snapper. He is still gonna be too short. We're gonna have to let that guy go. Another nice mangrove. I'm just hooking these guys right through the horn, just like so. Come on. There he is. There we go. Oh, that might be one. That's going to be close. We're getting bigger and bigger. He's still going to be a little short, I think. Yeah, he's not going to quite make 12. If we're in Florida, he'd probably be getting close to 10. He's probably 8 or 9 inches. Still a hair short. I can see some of the big ones down there. There's definitely some keepers. Just got to weed through these small fish. You know, usually we're weeding through pinfish and stuff, but right now we're weeding through baby mangrove snapper. There we go, there we go. Got him, got him. Oh, no. What the heck? That one just pulled hook. I think I need to loosen my drag a little bit. My drag is a little tight. That was a good fish. He never even pulled any drag. I got it a little tight here. Ended up just pulling that hook right out of his mouth. I don't need it super loose, but... Oh, dude, there's like four or five big ones right there. Maybe even more than that. There are some big mangroves. There he is. There he is. Oh, come on. All right. Nice. I think he may still be a hair short. Yeah, he's going to be just a little bit short. Getting bigger, though. We're getting close. These shrimp this morning from Beach Bum Outdoors are feisty. Again, there's, there's definitely some keepers down there. I can see them. It's just getting them to eat. There's one. There's one. Nice mangrove. That is a pretty one. Check out how much darker that little mangrove is than the other ones we've been catching. If y'all know the difference, comment down below, let me know. I don't know if it's water clarity, where, where they've mainly been eating or, or what it is, but if y'all know the reason and the color difference, comment down below, let us know. All right, another shrimpy going down. I think what I'm about to do is let me either free line them or see if I have any split shots. I don't know if I have any more split shots or not try to be a little more uh, incognito. Sometimes these bigger snapper get a little smart. If they see that weight, they're not gonna eat. So I'm gonna go re-rig, see if I got a smaller weight or a split shot, see if we can catch some of these big ones. Hey, that bird stole one of your shrimp, and I watched him, man, he's trying to figure out how to open that. <laughs> they're smart, man. <laughs> they love to steal your bait. Dude said Fred's trying to figure out how to open my shrimp bucket. We got re-rigged, I got a longer leader. I'm just using 10 pound fluorocarbon and I did find a split shot in the truck. Let's see if uh, see if rocking just a split shot will help me find some of these bigger snapper. There we go, there we go. Nice snapper. Still gonna be short. If we can't get us a keeper here in a minute, we're gonna have to move spots. Can't sit here all day catching short snapper. At this point, we're basically just feeding them. There we go, there we go. Look at all these mangroves that chase it up. Look at that. It just got chased up by like 20 more mangroves. Dude, if I threw a cast net right now, I'd probably get like 100 ladyfish. They are everywhere down there. There we go. Is that a snapper? There we go. Ooh, that might be a keeper. He's gonna be close. He's gonna be close. I made a mark on my rod so I didn't have to go back to the truck. Dude, he's like 10 inches. If we were in Florida, that would be a keeper. Man, if you got some kids or you just wanna catch some fish, y'all bring some live bait down here to this little lagoon pass here. And it is stacked right now. And struggling to find some keepers for dinner. But uh, there's plenty of fish to catch, that's for sure. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, foul hooked. <laughs> Thought he felt better, but he was just foul hooked. We're gonna get one of these keepers. 
Dude, check out this barracuda. Uh, he just came up against the wall. See him right there? I think that's a barracuda. That is crazy. Yeah, I caught some reds down there. Nice reds. That was all there we go. Texas. What are these you're catching? Mangrove snapper. Mangrove snapper? Yeah. Size limit, size limit or? 12 inches. I haven't caught a keeper yet. They've all been just under. Oh yeah, they're really good. If you can catch them 12 inches. <laughs> They've all been like 8 to 10. There we go. There we go. Come on. This one has my line in its mouth. So this is the second time I've hooked this one today. It broke me off once. I'm not going to be able to get the hook out, but I'll uh, at least cut that extra line out for him. Caught the same fish twice. That doesn't happen too often. They're usually smart enough not to eat again. All right, I'm gonna drop one more shrimp. Then we're gonna move spots, see if we can find some bigger ones. Oh, ladyfish. Oh, no, mangrove. <laughs> I think the ladyfish just got tangled in my line. That was kind of crazy. There has been a bunch of little finger mullets swimming around, so I may hang out for a second. See if I can't throw the net. Get some live finger mullet. All right, y'all, just made it to a new spot here. Already seeing some big fish. Hook up another shrimp here. See if we can get these fish fired up here. Got them. Already on. <laughs> oh, look at all those snapper. Dude, there's so many snapper right there. There's definitely some keepers in there. There's, oh, got him, got him. Nice. I didn't even, I like barely even put this in the water. Dude trying to bite my shirt. So I don't think this one's gonna quite be a keeper. We will double check real quick. Yeah, he's gonna be a little bit short. Off you go. All right, check this out y'all, so many. I just barely even put the shrimp in the water. They all come up here for them. Oh, that was a little one. Dang, I was about to pull it out of the water. <laughs> I didn't want that one. Another shorty. I'm going to get one of these keepers here, though. Dude, there's some big ones over here. Real good ones. There's 100% keepers. That's a keeper. Got to be. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Nice. Oh, chill, buddy, chill. Oh, yeah. This one might keep y'all. Dang, he's going to be just short. He's probably like 11 inches, 11 and a half. Basically from the butt of the rod up into the bottom of the reel seat here, this part of the reel seat, 12 inches. <clears throat> There's so many snapper, I can almost just like pick which one I want. Oh my goodness. That one that went just went under the pier is probably like 15, 16 inches. There are some big ones here. Look at those snapper fired up there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Again, there's so many of them here. I'm just weeding through these little ones, <laughs> trying to get the big ones to eat. I wish I had my smaller cast net to get some of these LYs. These LYs are a really good bait for these mangroves. I wish we could cast net mangroves. If I could throw a cast net, you can get all the snapper you want, weed through, pick out the size. Again, it's like 100% keepers down there. No question about it. Just gotta get through the little fellas. All right, there's some keepers kind of further out. There he is. Let's see. I think he's gonna be short again. Yep. This is a blast, but like frustrating when you see all these big mangroves and they're just not eating. I mean, they'll probably eat. It's just getting it past these little ones. I think these snapper are so fired up, I could probably throw anything in here and they'd eat. Watch this. Just dangling this shrimp right at the surface. Look at all those snapper, y'all. Oh, oh, that might be a keeper. That might be a keeper. I just watched that one eat. <laughs> that was cool. 
Yeah, I just had that shrimp just like dangling in. Chill, buddy. Chill, homie. He's gonna be awfully close. Dang, he is just shy. I mean, barely shy. I'm gonna end up running out of shrimp here in a minute. I have to go see what kind of snacks we got in the truck. Though I don't have much. I've been trying to eat better. Oh, there's a keeper right there. There's a keeper right there. Dang it. He moved away from it. These fish are so fired up, they're like eating my weight, dude. All right, they're getting fired up. Looks like there should be a couple keepers in there. It's like the easiest fishing in the world. Minus, I can't catch a big one. There we go. <laughs> Even worse, pinfish. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Get him out of the pile. Get him out of the pile. That might be the one. Don't break me off, baby. Don't break me off, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one will keep. Pretty certain that one will. Heck, yeah. Let's double check real quick. Oh yeah, first keeper of the day. All right, there's a bunch down there right now, but none of those look like keepers. Walk over this way. <laughs> I just threw that shrimp out and like freaking 100 snapper came out from under the pier. There's one, there's one. Feisty little fella. Those snapper are fired up when you toss the shrimp out there. There we go, there we go. Feels like a decent one. Ah, barely gonna be short. Close, but no cigar. Kelton's gonna be mad at me if I don't catch another keeper here. Or I'm just gonna have to give him my food. <laughs> one of the two. It's frustrating, because look at how many come out, and there's definitely some keepers in there. It's just hard to get these keepers to eat before the little ones eat. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one, that's a good one. Whew. That might be a keeper. That might be. Chilled, buddy. He's gonna be close. I need him to be a teak keeper, so we got two to take home for dinner. He was right at it. Another keeper right at 12. Heck yes. I got like two shrimp left. And I almost just threw that one under the dock. No, get back here. All right, rigging up another shrimp. I only got like one or two left. See if we can get us another keeper right here to end the day. Oh, there's a good one. No, oh, don't break me off. Don't break me off. Don't break me off. Oh, don't break me off. Nice. Easy, buddy. Easy does it. Hey. All, right. All right, guys, we're back at the house now. Ended up catching a few of those keeper mangroves. I don't even know how many I ended up catching, but it, <clears throat> there was quite a few. Only the three keepers. We got a few pieces here. Kelton wanted a little snack. We are going to save the rest for dinner later. Uh -huh. We're going to cook up a little snack here for Kelton. We got this like Key West seasoning, and uh, it's really good. Kelton, you want to hit it? I'm going to heat up a little butter in the pan here. I do it that way. Can I do them both sides? Wait, this going to have a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little bacon grease in here too. Bacon grease? Bacon. <laughs> bacon. That bacon. That won't really need this anymore. Did you get both sides? Yeah. I want to do Look, Dad, look. Did you wash your hands? Yeah. I, I did it did it. And I know it did it. Mangrove snapper is probably one of my favorite fish to eat. Absolutely delicious. I really love it fried. Not eating fried food right now, unfortunately. I kind of miss it. But I'm down like 11 pounds in three weeks. All right, Kelvin, you want to put the fish in? We're about to put the fish in. Yummy. What's your favorite thing to eat? You like fish better than ramen noodles? Yeah? The fish is better for you than ramen noodles. <laughs> All right, y'all, the fish is ready. Who wants to try it first? Not me. Not you. All right, I'll go first. Mmm, nice, crispy mango snapper. Mmm. That Key West season is so good. We did that a while back. I want some baked fish. 
It is so delicious. And really hot too. And I actually hot. get like a little hint of the bacon flavor. A little hint of the bacon flavor from that little bit of bacon grease we had in there. What do you think, dude? That the top the burr that part, um, I kind of, it's kind of crunchy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Right now was a perfect time to be catching mangrove snapper. Anywhere around some jetties, some passes, seawalls, stuff like that. They do like to hang around the structure. Get some live shrimp, um, some live elwash, some bull minnows, and they're gonna crush. They were absolutely everywhere today. Unfortunately, I only had the, the three keepers. There was a lot of other keepers there. We just, the, the little ones were eating the shrimp before I get to the big ones. I think if we could have got some LYs or some kind of fish bait may have been a little bit better, but everything loves shrimp. The little mangroves absolutely tear up the shrimp, so hard to get shrimp to get past any of those smaller fish. But can I get another bite? Hmm. Kelton trying to eat up all our fish over here. He's a little fish hey, man. That was mine. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy that video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are interested in trying out Factor 75, make sure you head over to factor75.com or click the link down below in the description. Use code BEARDBREAD50. Save 50% off your first box. Appreciate it. I'll catch y'all in the next one.